for the tennis injury. So let's see if Joe has how many of you have experienced or experiencing storming right now. Come on, don't be afraid. All right, so most of us, most of us. Me, I don't like Curtis anymore. <laughs> Man, all right. So this is going to help you kind of get through that. Get over, uh, get over storming and uh, start working together and being efficient. One day. So our first lecture. What is conflict? Well, you think about it for a little bit, and I'm going to ask you about it later. I did not. It can't be right. It's pretty close to that. I mean, if you think about it, all the ideas. If you think about it, all the other people who talk about the pressure, right? I mean, look at our politics. We don't really argue. We don't really argue politics and pressure. We just yell at them.
activity to demonstrate this. So I want you guys to do is turn into your controls. So if you're facing me on the closest side of me, turn around and face the control.
pull up his neck. Mexican ass up. Thank you. 
and everybody's sitting around coming and thawing, like, I don't know, maybe we should do this. That's the time to jump in and say, we need to do this to save this man's life. Go get this, go do that. Because if you sit around and debate whether you should do it one way or another, that guy could possibly die. What about ignoring it or giving in? Anybody got a situation for that? Right, yeah, it's never too bad, it's never bad to admit when you're wrong. And that's when it, you can give in, like you know you're wrong instead of arguing you're wrong side just so you're not wrong, that's when you kind of give in and you talk to them and have them explain their side so then you're better informed. <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to get something done and they're talking about whether the sky is blue or purple, there's no sense arguing about that. That's, that's something that you just want to go, all right, if you think that, that's on you, let's get back to work. But another one I think about is uh, when somebody comes up to you and they're asking for a fight. If somebody comes up to you and maybe uh, they heard some rumors that you were, you know, picking on their little sister, let's say. And you weren't, you know you weren't. You don't even know the little sister. He comes up to you and you try to start a fight. That's when you want to go, you know, I didn't do anything, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna walk away. The problem a lot of people have is uh, they get offended. The guy comes up to them and says, You were picking on my little sister and I'm gonna fight you. And they go, No, I wasn't. You're wrong. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> and then you have a big, big conflict and lots of bad stuff happens, right? So that's a good time to ignore it. So now we have to finish. Smoothing it over. What is smoothing over? Smoothing over. Smoothing over. Yeah, that's kind of like it. Triangle of breath. My what? Triangle of breath. Yeah, calm it down. In the back. Yeah, push for a conclusion. You don't want to be dwelling on the topic and arguing about it forever, so you kind of start leaning towards a conclusion. For me, smoothing it over is when you're having a conflict with somebody, you tend to start writing, you know, when voices start getting higher and higher, louder and louder. That's when you want to calm it down, kind of get more quiet. Don't have big reactions, uh, slow down on your facial expressions, because people will see that and they start calming down themselves. Because a lot of what we do, we get from other people, right? A lot of stuff our parents do, we do, because we watched it growing up. So if you're arguing with somebody and you calm down and you be relaxed, more than likely they're going to calm down and come to the same level with you so you can actually discuss them without yelling at each other, uh, being negative, tempers flying, stuff like that. So that's, that's smoothing it over. And uh, like I said, what you want to do is you want to you know, calm your voice down. Uh, don't throw facial expressions out there. Uh, talk softly. Uh, use kind words. That's when everything starts dying down and you can actually get some. Now we get, get outside help. Somebody mentioned therapy. This would be outside help, right? So let's see. Uh, give me a scenario where you want to get outside help. Wait a minute. Riots. Riots, yes. You get outside of yeah, anger problem. Anger problem, yeah. Having self realization. If you know that your temper is going to fly, that's when you get a medium. I heard somebody else mention that earlier too. You get somebody come in, act like a recipe or a referee for the conversation. That'll keep you in check and will keep the guy you're talking to in check. Oh, yeah. If somebody pulls a weapon, you, you want to. Give in, run away, and go get help. So, yeah, so any outside 
health is uh, also equally important if the people you're having conflict with don't fully understand the situation. Because it's hard when you're having a conflict with people, especially if they don't really know what you're talking about, if you don't really know what you're talking about, then you might be arguing two different things that aren't even the same, but tempers are flying. So you go get outside help or, or one of the adults that, you know, have been around a while, kind of know their stuff, and they can come in and explain the situation to you, and then you can have an informed debate rather than... Uh, being incompetent about a topic and you have two people yelling at each other when they have you no idea what's going on. That's when you want to go get help is if you if the parties don't know a whole bunch and you want to talk about the topic, you get somebody who knows about it. If tempers fly way too high, you want an adult there to calm things down if you can't. If somebody pulls a knife on you, you need to get a hold of the police, which is outside of the And uh if you, if you have a hot temper, or if you know the other guy has a hot temper and you need to solve something, you're working together and you have to figure out a solution, then that's when you get a money. Because the adults have a lot more respect from the kids than you educate yourself. Because when you're having a conflict with somebody of your age, you're on the same plane, right? You're just a kid, I'm just a kid. But if you get an opponent, there's less likely to uh, yelling, less cuss words, you know, stuff like that, right? All right. So collaborate. Does anybody know what collaborate means? Work together. Work together. Okay. Um, what? Kind of like agree.